We're 4,040 feet here. And uh, the little town started in 1882 when the railroad came through. My dad had restaurants and I had to help in them when I was growing up and I've had to get up early all my life. It's very quiet, very quiet. I'm a sunrise and sunset watcher, I always have been. The stars are so beautiful out here. If there'd be a few streaky clouds, it'd be very pretty. It just feels pretty wonderful to me. And it just makes me feel very good every morning when I walk out. And first thing I do is look up to look at the sky. You'd have to figure that Shirley Rooney must be the first sign of life in the desert every morning. By 4.30, she and her daughter Francine are already up and up to their elbows in flour here in the cramped kitchen of Shirley's Burnt Biscuit Bakery, Marathon, Texas. Did you ever see such a messy kitchen? People ask me how I uh, know when the dough is ready. I was taught that when your dough feels like a, a baby's bottom, that it's ready to work with. And that's the way my donuts better feel. Shirley's only had her little bakery in the desert for about three years now, but folks for miles around can hardly imagine life without her early morning homemade fried pies, cookies, banana nut bread, zucchini bread, donuts, sausage biscuits, and the only pot of coffee for better than 50 miles in any direction. Hi, Jim, how are you? From 5.30 to 7, there's not anybody open around here but me. I see it, I'm the only one. We've got these cowboys trained to um, watch what they're doing when they come in here. We have a retired vet from Alpine that ranches between here and Sanderson. And uh, he comes in about six o'clock in the morning and gets a biscuit and sausage. He eats half and gives his dog the other half while they're on the road going down. And <laughs> you know, like that. That's vanilla. Doesn't look like you're measuring anything. No. Tastes better if you don't. And that way you know they're real. They're not something that's been frozen and took out of a box. I turned 65 and decided I was just gonna take my Social Security and live on it. And my three daughters. Oh, Mama, you're crazy. You've got 20 more good years left in you. Why don't you um, open that little bakery you always wanted? It's always a steady stream of folks in and out of Shirley's Burnt Biscuit Bakery. And right in the middle of the busiest time every morning, Shirley puts her business on hold for a very important mission. You see, Shirley's the weather lady in this part of Texas. It's 42 degrees. Yesterday, the high was 65 degrees. I did it back in the 50s and 60s. They'll say, well, I had six inch rain the other day. Yeah, six inches apart, weren't they, the raindrops? <laughs> if we have rain or snow, I come out here and measure this at the same time that I take my readings, and um, this will be damp wherever the moisture is. And then I take this off, it has this cylinder in it, I will pour it out, and um, this is the moisture for a 24 hour period. Seven days a week, 365 days a year, the National Weather Service relies on Shirley's remote weather reporting station and on her detailed reports. Nope, there's no such thing as a day off for the donut lady. I cut my donuts with this. Got a little hole in the top. In the hole, I cut it with this pill bottle. I don't get much sleep. I get about six hours of sleep a night. Now between the cookies, pies, and donuts, it seems Shirley Rooney has the biggest sweet tooth in the county. Don't those look good? And it wasn't long ago that she started feeling strange, and the lady who works up a sweat making sweets found out she can no longer eat her own cooking. Shirley, the doctors say, has come down with diabetes. It really shocked me too, 
I said, I can't have diabetes, I've got a bakery. Yeah, every day I had to have a donut, but it's not that important now. And uh, I want to live to be 100, so I'm going to be pretty careful if I can. Those are ready to sell. It seems we found a place out here in the desert of West Texas where the fried pies and forecasts come from, where Shirley Rooney starts her day long before daylight. And every morning, the breeze carries the scent of fresh donuts and coffee across the desert. It's a place that's lodged itself into our file of favorite stops, and wherever we go, we will always remember that quiet time between dark and daylight and a lady named Shirley who can warm your soul on the coldest morning in her tiny bakery out here in the desert. You know, we, people live a long time out here and uh, that's why I say I'm gonna live to be a hundred. I plan on it. I guess I am part of the landscape. I think I might have to turn around and go back for one of those fried pies and a couple of donuts. Thanks for traveling with me. I'm Bob Phillips. This is Texas Country Reporter. We'll see you next time. Thanks for hopping in and traveling with us. Now click the subscribe button for more videos like the one you just saw.